Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to Ham Cured Smoke and another installment in the ICOM IC7300 from A to Z series. In today's installment, number 14, we're going to take a look at the delta transmit function and the monitor function. I'm afraid this is going to be kind of a short episode. I just recently came back from the 2019 Dayton Hamvention, and then right after I got back, I had to head out on the road for my company. So I've got a couple of short segments I was able to record in between there. And unfortunately, the segments were all recorded with the antenna disconnected from the radio because we had some pretty heavy thunderstorms going on at the time. So this will be kind of a short and sweet one, so let's get right to it. Here's the Delta TX, or Delta Transmit function. The button to access it is right up here on the upper right on the radio. It says Delta TX, and if you press it, you'll get the Delta TX in the display. And then you can use the multi-knob to change how far you're transmitting. And I have the transmit marker turned on on the scope here, so you can see it actually shows you on the scope how far your transmit frequency is from your receive frequency, which I, is centered the way I have the scope set up right now. You can go up to 9.99 kilohertz up, and of course you can go up to 9.99 kilohertz down. There are no other settings for this function except that when you're in Delta Transmit, if you press and hold the button, it will reset your offset back to zero. This is very similar to the RIT function that we went over in a previous episode, uh, in that it shifts the frequency that you're going to transmit on. Now, I've got my transmit power set to zero right now, so I'm not actually going to transmit. So if I change my offset up here, we'll go up two kilohertz, and you'll notice that if I press the microphone, you'll see it shows me that I'm transmitting, and if you look at the, or that my transmit frequency has moved, and on the bottom display here, I have the actual frequency displayed on the spectrum scope, and you'll see that it shifts by 2 kilohertz when I push the mic. It doesn't change the actual main receive display. This is the frequency you are receiving. Now, as I've said with um, the noise blanker, I'm sorry, with the notch filter function, I talked about manual versus automatic on that, and I couldn't see a reason for the manual function. Well, likewise, with the delta TX function, I really can't see a use case why I would ever want to use this. Um, if I had somebody that was a little off frequency from where I was transmitting, I would keep my frequency the same including my transmit frequency, and I would use the RIT function to shift where I was hearing that person. Um, so I don't think I would use this. Like I said, I can't really think of a use case. However, a few people did send in some comments on the notch filter about why you'd use the manual one there. So if some of you have some use cases on a good reason to use the Delta TX instead of RIT, I'd love to hear them. Um, the only one possible case I did think of was split frequency. If somebody's calling and they say they're listening up or down some number of kilohertz, but usually that's more than 10 kilohertz away, and that won't work with the delta TX function because 9.99 is as far as you can shift it. So that's really about it for delta TX. Um, I don't have any other, uh, there's no other settings, there's no other uh, options other than changing it and turning it on and off and re resetting it to zero. So if you got some comments on how you might use this, I'd love to hear them. Please uh, put some comments in, and uh, otherwise, that's it for Delta TX. Let's take a look at the monitor function. The monitor function can be accessed in two ways. One, if you press the function button over in the bottom right on the menu, you see monitor, or M-O-N-I. I have it on right now. If you touch it, it turns it off. Touch it again, it turns it on. If you 
touch and hold, it brings you to the menu to adjust the monitor gain. And you can adjust it from 0 to 100%. Now you can also turn the monitor function on and off by just pressing the multi button and you get the menu here and if you touch the monitor one, if you touch it briefly, it changes it from on to off and then of course that also allows you to adjust the gain there. So you've got two different ways to get to the monitor function. Let's talk about what the monitor function is for. Pretty straightforward, it lets you monitor your transmit audio. So if monitor is on and I key up the microphone, uh, notice I'm transmitting at zero power. In fact, I have no antenna connected right now because we have thunderstorms in the area. But um, when I transmit and key the mic, hello testing, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll let you hear that just through the rig audio. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. So that gives you your audio through the microphone so that you hear what it sounds like going into the transmit section of the radio. Now the one thing you need to be that you need to keep in mind with this is with the monitor function you really need to be using headphones um, with the uh, monitor function because if I have the speaker volume turned up and you key the microphone you're going to get feedback. So um, it'll pick itself up in the speaker. So you really need to use headphones if you're going to use monitor. And that's pretty much it for the monitor function. One other item with the monitor function is that it also, the, the setting of on-off doesn't affect this, but the volume does. Um, there is a voice recorder built into this IC7300. We'll get into the details on that in another episode, but if you have a, uh, a CQ or a response or whatever recorded in here and you enable it to transmit, it's Hello, CQ, seeing the rig and CQ, now CQ. transmitting. Calling my, CQ, uh, CQ, calling CQ case. from Whiskey America to function India, controls Victor, the volume that you hear that at. India, Victor, Delta, calling CQ, calling CQ. But you do hear it. This is Whiskey America 2, off India, so will Victor, play the Delta, voice calling CQ. Let me turn that off. It'll play the voice transmit uh, through the speaker or through your headphones, whether monitor is on or off, but the monitor volume setting does control how loud that is. All right, that's about it for the monitor. Well, that wraps up today's topics. As always, if you have comments, suggestions, corrections, please leave your feedback in the comment section, especially on the Delta Transmit function today. As I said in the segment, if you've got any ideas about uh, use cases and how you might use this, I'd really appreciate hearing about it. You can help educate me and some of your fellow viewers. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.